Thousands of South Korean community doctors staging a one-day walkout protesting government plans to increase annual medical school admissions and potentially penalize about 10,000 hospital interns who've been on strike since February. The government says more doctors are needed to deal with a dire shortage of practitioners, especially in rural areas. But the Korean Medical Association says the move will lead to lower pay and training standards. The problem for the doctors is that about 80% of people oppose their strike. With deaths caused by the walkouts rising, groups lobbying for sick patients are also threatening a class action against striking doctors. And it's not just patient advocacy groups who are calling on doctors to go back to work. There's now also growing division amongst the medical community. Obstetricians, pediatricians, specialists in epilepsy and even a major hospital workers' union boycotted this walkout. But that doesn't mean South Korea's healthcare crisis will end soon. Which means people will still have no access to many emergency wards, even if they plead their case with hospital security. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.